Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's fill this atmosphere with worship. Let's fill this atmosphere with praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right where you are, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands and wave it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. The bright and morning star. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The beautiful rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus, come on, let's worship him. Let's open up our mouths and praise him. Hallelujah. He has done so much for us. Hallelujah. We cannot tell it all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Hallelujah. We can face tomorrow. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Hallelujah. All fear is gone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Shut in with Jesus. Shut in with Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we magnify you, Lord God. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, mighty God. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are the first and the last, mighty God. The beginning and the ending, Lord Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. Hallelujah. None compared to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just want to honor you this morning. Hallelujah. We want to lift you up, mighty God. Hallelujah. We want to give you thanks, Lord God, for all that you have done for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. For watching over us, mighty God. We thank you, Lord God, for life, Lord Jesus. We thank you, mighty God, for good health, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for strength, mighty God. We thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for clothing us in our right minds. Hallelujah. We thank you, mighty God, hallelujah, that we are here once more. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for each and every soul. Hallelujah in here on today mighty God we thank you mighty God for watching over us we thank you for your journey mercies mighty God hallelujah hallelujah Jesus as we come before you right now we pray Lord God hallelujah that you will search us mighty God you will wash us Lord you will cleanse us mighty God purge us Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, Lord Jesus. Father God, stretch forth your hands and touch us, Lord Jesus. Let your anointing fall upon us, mighty God. We pray right now that your Shekinah glory will fill this room, Lord Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Mighty God, fill someone with the gift of the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mend every broken heart, Lord. And set every captive free. Break every chain. Destroy every yoke, mighty God. Hallelujah. We come against every spirit, mighty God. 
that is unlike you right now in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we cancel every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We come against confusion. We come against disruption, mighty God. We come against division, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray right now that you will anoint us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, Lord God. I pray, mighty God, that you will bless every heart, Lord God. Help us, mighty God, hallelujah, to receive from you, Lord Jesus. Spirit of the living God, hallelujah. We pray that you will, mighty God, clear this atmosphere for worship. Let this atmosphere be on fire, Lord God. Let this atmosphere be charged, Lord Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit move among us, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, heal those who are sick, mighty God. Whether it be in mind, body, or soul, Lord Jesus. I pray, mighty God, for a very special healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Physically and spiritually, Lord God. I pray, mighty God, that you will grant us favor, Lord Jesus. Open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain in abundantly upon us, mighty God. Open doors for us, Lord Jesus. Doors that we don't even see, mighty God. Father God, we pray right now that you will, Lord Jesus, anoint the musicians, anoint the praise team, mighty God. Help us, mighty God, to sing unto your glory, Lord Jesus. Mighty God, help us to minister to someone right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I place, Lord God, the man's servant before you right now. I pray, mighty God, that you will anoint him, Lord Jesus. Anoint his lips, mighty God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will use him, mighty God, to minister your words, Lord. And Father God, I pray right now that you will open our spiritual ears to hear and to receive your words, Lord Jesus. Have thine own sweet way, Lord God. Have thine own sweet way, Jesus. Mighty God, we place everything in your hands and we call it done in your mighty and holy name I pray in Jesus' name let every heart say amen amen hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus glory be to your name hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 16, verses 8 through 15. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 16, 8 through 15, and it reads, Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for his words in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Service is now in the hands of the praise team. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm so happy to be in the house of the Lord. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning, this afternoon? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. 
I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me. Come, let us go. Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll Jesus, never I'll forget. Never
Shout it out right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we express our love and our gratitude to the Lord in worship? Hallelujah. We give praise unto him for all that he's done, but we worship him for who he is. Thank you, Jesus. Right where you are, hallelujah, whether you're on your knees, whether you're sitting, whether you're on your feet, can we lift up our hands in the room today? Hallelujah, Jesus.
Well, I call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. When I'm going through, I call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. When I'm happy and when I'm sad, I still call on the Jesus. Jesus. Because he's a word that's who be called upon. Jesus. When I call upon the name of the Lord, I call him. Jesus. Chains begin to break from my life when I call. Jesus. Shackles begin to loosen when I call on him.
need your everything. If you want to lift up those hands or open your mouth, however you worship the king, however you give it to him, he's worthy of it. Hallelujah. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it all. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. Nothing like the presence of the Lord. Nothing like the presence of the Lord. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. Nothing like being in his presence. It's a sweet smelling presence. Sweet smelling savor. Oh. good in my soul my soul loves you Jesus my soul loves you Jesus my soul doth magnify thee Lord Hallelujah. 
These are one of those moments, hallelujah, where we just sit, hallelujah, and dwell with the Lord just for a moment, hallelujah. Whatever you need is in the room, hallelujah. All you have to do is reach up and receive it, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, he never comes empty-handed, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Reach up and receive it, hallelujah. 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 If you need the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. He stopped by. Jesus, he stopped.
Keep your yes! Keep your yes! Keep your yes! Go right! Glory be to God. 
God. Hallelujah. And I needed $3,000. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, yes, I tell you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I didn't have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was crying to my mother. Hallelujah. And I talked to her. I said, Ma, I need the school. Hallelujah. To give me the certification that I need. Hallelujah. So that I can pay. Hallelujah. For my summer tuition. Hallelujah. I called and I called and I called the school. Nobody will answer. I emailed and I emailed and I emailed. Nobody will answer. Hallelujah. So I'm like, Lord, are they out of the office? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why won't anybody get back to me? And the time is running out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was crying to my mother. Hallelujah. Thursday, I was crying to her. And I said, Ma, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. I don't have that kind of money. Hallelujah. Even if I try to work, hallelujah, for the next month and a half, I still wouldn't have it all. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. So she said, you know, God's going to work it out. You're going to get the certification that you need. It's going to be well. It's going to be well. Hallelujah. So I'm like, okay, Ma. So I, I look on my, uh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the next day I go through, hallelujah, I go to work, hallelujah. I talk, hallelujah, to my supervisor, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I get home, hallelujah. And I look through my email, I'm like, it's not going to be there, but I'm just going to check to see if they certified anything. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. And as I was sitting on the couch, I was going through my email, hallelujah. And I saw, hold up, thank you, Jesus. I saw an email that said, congratulations, hallelujah. It's been certified, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, oh, Jesus. Glory be to God. Don't tell me what God can do. Hallelujah. Don't tell me. What the Lord will do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you need a reason, praise God for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. testimonies in the house on today. Hallelujah. But if you have a testimony, hallelujah, testify in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. God is good. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to just make room for our church announcements, but y'all go ahead and keep praising God. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We just want to take the time to say thank you um, and welcome to Word of Life Church of, church of something, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel good in my spirit. I don't know about y'all, but I feel good. Hallelujah. Um, and even if you're watching um, through Facebook, we say God bless you to our visitors. God bless you. Thank you for having us on, t um, being with us today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're just going to go um, through these announcements really quick, and I'm going to get out your way. Um, Monday night, we have our weekly prayer intercession at 7 p.m. On Tuesday night, we have our interactive Bible study at 7 p.m. And also on Thursday night, we have our prayer call via Zoom at 8 p.m. And we, um, if anybody would like to join to our guests, if y'all like to join, y'all can get with anybody in the service and they can get y'all that link for our um, Zoom call in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just some of our other announcements. We are so excited for our vocational Bible school that will be starting this week. Um, it'll be held. Thank you, Lord. June 24th through the 28th, and we're going to start promptly at 6 p.m. Um, food will be provided, and we want everybody to come out um, and enjoy a useful time in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Um, in regards to our vocational Bible school, please, please do not store anything in the fridge this week to avoid cross-contamination of anything um, as a food for our vocational Bible school. Um, yeah, Bible school, because it will be stored in the refrigerator back there. Um, so we definitely don't want to mess up anything back there um, that we have for our kids for this upcoming week. Um, so anything in the fridge currently is for vocational Bible school. Anything that's in there that's for our kids. So just be uh, mindful of that. Um, June 28th, that we'll, we'll be celebrating Sister Mayana. We'll be celebrating her, bir her first birthday. First birthday? First? Okay. Yes, yeah, she'll be celebrating her first birthday, June 28th. Thank you, Lord. And Sister Trinity will be celebrating her birthday June 29th. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, today, yeah, Sunday, today, um, our dear pastor, he'll be preaching in Utahville at 430 this afternoon. Um, so that'll be today. Um, and also next Sunday, which is June 30th, our pastor will be preaching in Bamberg, South Carolina at 3 p.m. Um, so just make sure y'all mark your calendars on that. Um, and we would like for everyone to remember to sign up for a prayer call on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, uh, the sign-up sheet is posted in the back. Um, also, Sister Kyla will be selling her poetry book. It's called Piece of Poetry, Today at the Service. Uh, she will also be giving um, essential oils for free. Um, please remember to keep all sick and shut in. Just remember um, Elder Washington, keep him in your prayers. Um, and I think, I believe the door, the door knob is good. All right, so if there's any um, other announcements or anything that you wanted to be announced, um, please see myself or Sister Hope. Uh, please govern yourselves accordingly, and we're going to prepare for our tithes and offerings. Um, we have several ways that you can give. You can give um, via Giblify by downloading the Giblify app on your phone or your device and search for Word of Life Church of Sumter, or you can give through Cash App, which is dollar sign W-O-L, Church of Sumter, or by mail or in person like we all are today. All of the information will be posted on the screen behind me. If you're watching um, via Facebook, it should be posted on your screen as well. And as always, we thank you for, our faith for your faithful giving to this ministry, and we pray God continuously bless you and cause your cup to run over. Uh, could we stand for our offering declaration? Thank you, Lord. And just remember, our building fund will be right here in the middle. Thank you, Lord. Lord, as we give our tithes and offerings today, we commit our finances to you. Be in charge of our finances and use them for your purposes. May we be good stewards of all that you give us. We ask that we live free of burdensome debt and where we have been unwise, bring restoration and give us guidance. Give us wisdom to handle money wisely. Show us how to plan for the future. Help us to remember that, we, that all that we have belongs to you and to be grateful for it. We pray that we will not be anxious about finances, but we will seek your kingdom first, knowing that as we do, we will have all that we need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Jesus and you'll be led by each of us who's on each side. Amen.
Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. Oh, 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 open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. Say, open the eyes of, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Let's stand and give God some glory. I know we pray about it. Can't get too tired. Somebody just say hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was scripture. Before I get so fast, let me slow myself down. I give honor to our Lord, Jesus Christ author and the finish of our faith. Hallelujah. Our Pastor Mac, yes, Lady Mac, yes, our Ella Redwood and his companion, yes, 
Elder White and his absent and his companion, and Elder Washington. And last but not least, my dear wife, Sister Miller, and all of the saints of God, we greet you in the name of Jesus. We thank God for, uh, for another opportunity to be in the house of God. You may be seated. For another opportunity just to be in the house of God today. It is a pleasure to be found in the house of God. There are so many needs to be in the house of God. There are so many worlds in the house of God. But thank God that you are yet in the house of God. Some could have made it, but they didn't. Praise the Lord. Because they refused to suffer. Praise the Lord. My topic today is about suffering. The Bible declares that if you suffer with him, that we will also reign with him. Amen. Tell me something. Who loves suffering? Anybody here love suffering? Raise your hand. Nobody loves suffering? The Bible says if you suffer with him, you reign with him, right? So we ought to love suffering, right? You may, you may not love it, but you must endure it. Praise the Lord. You must yield yourself to suffering, praise the Lord. That's a topic that is not something that you would want to just jump and shout about, but it is so true, and it builds and it builds your faith, and it increases your confidence, and it makes you strong in the Lord. When you feel like you should have been down because you endure your suffering, it causes you to stand regardless of what you may be going through. Our scripture text today will be coming from um, Peter um, 1 and 4 and um, 13 through 16. Amen. First Peter 4 and 1, 13 through 16. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Verse 13 says, I mean, I'm, I, I should have said verse 12. Beloved. Think it not screams concerning the fiery trials which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. Say that one too fast. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Thank you, Jesus. So there are some good things in suffering. Suffering for the Lord. Not for yourself, but suffering for the Lord. Living that life that God has called us to live, it takes suffering. Praise the Lord. This is a suffering way. Praise the Lord. And the only way we reign with Christ is that we suffer with him. Not just suffer with him, but that we endure our suffering without complaining, without murmuring. Praise the Lord. Because suffering increases your faith and your confidence in God. Praise the Lord. We can use one particular Bible character for as a witness. Job was God, Job was one of God's special prophet, not prophet man. Job was a man that loved God. Job was a man that feared God. Job was a man that did everything right. Job was in the will of God. Job was not just in the will of God, but Job was in the perfect will of God. So when God had a meeting with his angels, with the sons of God in heaven, and when he had that meeting, Satan was in the midst. Old Slick was in the midst of that meeting. And God asked him, what is he seeking? And God asked him, 
have you considered my servant Job? See, a lot of times when you suffer things, you think we are suffering because something we did or God just don't care. But suffering for the Lord, it builds us up. Praise we know how Job suffered, how he was criticized, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for all the things that were happening to him. They point their finger at Job and say, Job, you must have sinned. Job was living for God. Job was a perfect upright man. He didn't sin. Say to God, people are going to criticize you and say something is wrong with you when you were in the will of God. But you know what? Sometimes people allow people to cast them down when they put their finger on them. Because nobody knows what you're going through more than you do. Praise the Lord. And at times, you can be in the will of God, but you're going to be cast down for whatever reason. Praise the Lord. The enemy going to come and try to test your faith to stop you from following God. Praise the Lord. You know, when we in our suffering, praise the Lord, that's the time when a lot of people backslide. That's when a lot of people turn their back on God. But God causes suffering. And he causes suffering because he want to bring us in a closer relationship with him. It's not about nobody else, but God just put that intimate relationship with us. Sometimes we don't find the time to serve God. We don't find time to pray. We don't find time to rejoice. We don't have time to, 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 to read our Bible and to study God's word. And God is constantly speaking in our ears. Study my word. Learn of me. That you might show yourself approved. Pray. There's somebody that's in trouble, need help. But a lot of times, we don't hear God. God is speaking, but the world is speaking so loud, and we have our attention being distracted on the world. But God wants us, praise the Lord, to suffer with joy. Can anybody suffer and say, thank you, Jesus? No, not just that simple suffer, but God wants us to glorify him in our suffering. Praise the Lord. When we suffer, God wants to have that attitude, and I'm not saying that I'm there. Hallelujah. But God wants to have that attitude when we're going through our suffering. God wants to have that attitude. Yes, Lord, I love you, Lord. I know, God, you do all things well, Lord. I know you don't make a mistake, praise the Lord. We got to lift God's name, praise the Lord, when we're going through our suffering. That's what God wants to do because he wants to bless us. He wants to draw us nearer unto him. He want to build our faith in him. He want to build that relationship that he so desired to have with us. We know the Bible said that we ought to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things be added unto us. But praise the Lord, we don't seek God as he say. We don't pursue that God person as we supposed to do, as we should. We seek all other things. And we come to church sometime, I know you hear some people say it, I'm going to get my blessing. I'm waiting on a blessing. Pray, Lord, but that blessing is not just for us. That blessing is for the kingdom of God. You, him, her, and whoever else. And pray, Lord, we just don't get a blessing. God just don't bless us with a miraculous blessing. God have to take us through. Praise the Lord. God have to take us through a furnace sometimes, praise the Lord. We think that God is being hard on us, pray, Lord. And sometimes you feel like giving up, pray, Lord. But God is taking you through to draw you nearer, nearer unto him. He's not mad with you. He's not angry with you. You are not a sinner. You are just going through. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Pray, Lord. That scripture said, count it all joy. Count it all joy when we enter into devil's temptation. The Bible said, count it all joy. Praise the Lord. Because the devil temptation meaning it's very hard. There's so many things coming after you. One after another. You're out of one situation. Like the old folks say, if there ain't one thing, it's another. But praise the Lord. But the word of God say that we ought to rejoice in it. Rejoice in it. Not that we happy that we are, 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 are going through that trial. But that's how God gives you strength. You're acknowledging him. 
And when you rejoice in it, you're not just acknowledging him, but you're bringing God into your presence. You're bringing God into that situation. You're bringing God into everything that involves your life. We rejoice when we endow with temptation. We'll be in trouble on every hand. Praise the Lord. God is blessing us. It may seem like a curse, but he's blessing us. Job suffered so, praise the Lord. His friend criticized him so, praise the Lord. And they said he must have sinned. And Job felt so discouraged. He thought that God has forsake him. But Job cry was. He lift up God. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Saints of God, trying time is coming. Trouble is coming. To every one of us, and I'm not saying that for you to feel bad, but whether you feel bad or not, it's coming regardless. To all of us, either it's, it, 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 it's coming, it's here even now, or it's coming down the road. But the main thing that we ought to, to remember, that we ought to suffer with him, that we might be able to reign with him. Amen. First Timothy 2, 12 says, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Praise the Lord. You that are suffering or being persecuted for Christ's sake, praise the Lord, we are to glorify God. But to those, praise the Lord, that refuse to endure their suffering, they are being deceived. They are deceivers. And they are being deceived. You see, God don't want us to become, become a deceiver. God wants us to be victorious. God wants us to stand in our time of suffering. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, prepare yourself to suffer. Prepare yourself to suffer. The Bible says, if Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself likewise. As God has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself. The word of God is telling us, Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Because suffering is coming. Somebody going through right now. Somebody is coming. But I want to tell you that going through right now, count it all joy. Glorify God in your suffering. I know it might be hard, praise the Lord, but God is drawing you unto him. Praise the Lord. In our suffering, God is sanctifying us. He is not just being mean, but he is sanctifying us. He's transforming our mind as we go through. As we go through that suffering, praise the Lord. God has transformed our mind because it brings him into our situation. And we are to be mindful to glorify God while we're suffering. Because we are being built up in our most holy faith. Praise the Lord. So embrace the suffering of Christ. First Peter 4 and 12 said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. 13 said, But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Amen. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Praise the Lord. We are partakers of his suffering. But as we being partakers of God's suffering, the Bible tells that we ought to embrace that suffering. Because the Bible declared that if we suffer with him, we will also reign with him. In the verse says, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Praise the Lord. Joy as you have never experienced before, just by enduring yourself. And this is not talking about when the rapture come. It's not talking about when you go back to heaven, it's talking about right now and doing God's suffering. See what happened to Job. After Job went through his trials and his tribulation, 
He felt cast down. But after all was over, how did God just bless Job? He multiplied Job's blessing. But we're not enduring God's suffering to get blessing. But we, just, but we endure God's suffering to be built up. To become closer and closer to him. To love him more and more. Praise Lord. You see, there are a lot of things in us that God needs to change in our hearts, in our minds. Talk to yourself sometimes, right? There's a lot of things in us that God want to change. The Bible says that we ought to renew our mind. That we ought to renew our mind. That our mind might be transformed. Because our mind is not where it should be. But God wants us to have the mind of Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, he did it because he loved us. Despising the shame, despising the criticism, despising the father turning his back on him, he did it for our joy. For the joy that was set with him. Why shouldn't we suffer? God have a great plan in our life. God have a great plan for us right now. In time and history. In our lives. God said that he came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Not in heaven, in heaven too, but God wants us to enjoy life. God wants us to just enjoy life. Not like the world joy, but enjoy life in God. There's no joy in life without God. It might seem like joy, but it is destruction. Praise the Lord. If ye be if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People are going to criticize you. People are going to tear us down. People are going to say all manner of things against us. And at times we find ourselves feeling bad. Feeling defeated. Praise the Lord. Feeling like we don't have God on our side. Praise the Lord. But on your part, he is glorified. That's why we're living that's why we suffer. Our life is to bring glory and honor to the name of Jesus. That's our purpose. Regardless of what comes in our way, regardless of what happened in our life, praise the Lord, God wants us to glorify him. Praise the Lord. That's not always saying hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and being happy. But that's just keep on standing in God's word. Keep on going forward. Keep on holding on. Keep on looking to Jesus, knowing that he is the author and the finish of our faith. He promised us that he'll never leave us. Nor will he forsake us. Regardless of what we're going through sometimes, we feel as though God has forgotten about us sometimes. God just don't care. As, uh, as, as, as the, the, the disciple was below on, on the storm, when all of them was on that boat, and Jesus was down in the boat, sleeping. God had just told them, let's go on to the other side. So they was happy. And they was in the will of God. And they was just enjoying life. All of a sudden, something that happened to us, all of a sudden, here come hell break loose. All kind of stuff happening in our lives. Just got all of our attention. Praise the Lord. That storm came over, and they forgot what Jesus said. Don't that happen to us sometimes? Sometimes that trial come, we forget what God words, just, just, just forget what God said about us. About his word. But they went and they woke Jesus up and said, Care thou not that we perish? Do any of y'all feel that sometimes when you're going through your trial? I want to do God care. I want to do God care. But God promised them that he'll take them to the other side. And when Jesus wake up, he told them, Oh, ye of little faith. And I guess the disciples saying, what does he mean, little faith? We are about to die. And we need your help. See, sometimes God go to sleep on us. 
Not because he don't care. God go to sleep on us to make us think. God takes us through some hard things sometimes to make us think about his word. To make us get back into that place in God that we once was. Praise the Lord. God have great and special things for us, but we have to suffer and go through. Praise the Lord. To reign with Christ. Amen. Amen. Philippians Philippian 1 and 3 says, Ye doubtless, and I count all things. Paul said, Ye doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of God, of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. And do count and do count it as dumb that I may win Christ. Paul said that he suffered the loss of all things. Nothing that he had mattered. He rather suffer he rather suffer with God. He said he counted as nothing for the excellency of the knowledge of God. Since of God, there is so much power in knowing God. And walking with God. And living for God. Amen. And be found in him. Not having my own righteousness. Which is of the law. But that which is through the faith of Christ. The righteousness which is of God by faith. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable to his death. Praise the Lord. Paul said that he wants to know him. And God wants us to know him in our suffering. That's what he wants. He really wants us to know him, get to know him in a special way. In a better way. Regardless of how you know him now, he wants us to know him in a better way. He wants a closer relationship with us. See, sometimes we come to church, praise the Lord, and we think everything is all right just because we come to, just because we come to church, just because we come to prayer, just because we study God's word. Everything is all right. And that's good. But God wants an intimate relationship with us. Suffering is a call, praise the Lord, to an intimate relationship with God. God allow us to suffer, to just draw near unto him, to surrender. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that we are to present our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world. See, the world wants to be conformed to those things that are negative. See, God wants to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Praise the Lord. So by going through, by presenting our body a living sacrifice, that's suffering. Because presenting your body to God a living sacrifice, you saying, here am I, Lord. Here am I. A living sacrifice. He is all of me. God wants all of us, not just some of us. God don't want us to visit him. God wants us to abide with him. God wants us to, to just go deep. God was just get deep into his word, deep in the prayer, deep into living right. God wants to take him so seriously, praise the Lord. My God, you know, there's a lot of people going to be surprised on, 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 on judgment day. Even, even those that are saved, when they stand before God through that judgment, because the thing that they could have conquered, some thing that they could have went through, some thing, some thing that they should have and could have suffered, they refuse to go through with it. And when God judgment come, your reward wouldn't be what it could have been. But seeing as that God wants us to live a life of suffering. Every day of our life, we should be willing to endure whatever God brings before us. Regardless of how hard it might seem, Praise the Lord. 
you have to endure. You have to count it all joy. Praise the Lord. Paul said that we ought to press toward that mark of the high cause of God in Christ Jesus. And the only way that we can press is that we endure suffering. Praise the Lord. If we just give ourselves to God in prayer, in fasting, and mainly in living holy, walking in the spirit, walking with God's word on our mind, every situation that comes before us, what did God's word say about it? A lot of times the flesh not going to want to yield to it. That's why it's a sacrifice. I must obey God. I want to live for God. I want to be, how many of y'all want to please God? How many of y'all really want to please God? Amen. So we got to evaluate our life and see are we pleasing God? Some of the things that God have, have us to suffer and we are not going through. We are not suffering as we ought to. We are murmuring and complaining. But God don't want us to murmur or complain. God wants to rejoice in him. God wants to say, I know I'm coming out. I know I'm going to win this battle. I am not defeated. The Bible declared that I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, I, encourage, I want to encourage you today just to suffer with him that you might reign with him. Let's say we understand. It's a song I, I love, but I just can't sing it. I'm trying, I'm trying to get Sister Hope to sing it, but she don't know it. Steph might know that song. I've learned how to live holy. I've learned, I've learned how to live right. I've learned how to suffer. <laughs> I can't sing it, but I love that song. I've learned how to live holy. I've learned how to live right. I've learned how to suffer. For to suffer is eternal life. We are suffering for our eternal soul. Praise the Lord. The only way we're going to make it to heaven is, we, is that we endure our suffering here on earth. If we don't suffer, the Bible says we won't reign. So, saints of God, arm yourself with the mind to suffer. Not that we want to suffer, but when it comes, Lord, take me through. Lord, give me strength. Lord, bless me, Lord, just to, to rejoice in you in my time of trouble, in my evil day. Give me strength, Lord God, to keep on going and praising your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you this day, Lord God, for your blessings, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. How we ought to endure suffering, Lord. Father, we ask right now, Lord Jesus, that you visit us in a mighty way, Lord God. Lord, we don't know what's down the road, Lord God, but you know all things, Lord God. Lord, we ask right now, Lord Jesus, that you bless our hearts, Lord God. That you bless our mind, Lord God, that we are arm ourselves, Lord Jesus. To go through the tests and trials in life, Lord Jesus. We pray, Father, right now, Lord God, that you increase our faith in you, Lord God. Help us, oh God, to be faithful to you, Lord God. Help us, oh God, just to trust you, Lord God. Knowing that you are the author and the finish of our faith, Lord God. Knowing that you can and will take us through every trial and every, in every um, situation, Lord God. If we trust you, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to endure suffering in these days, Lord. Help us, O oh God, to lift thy hand, O oh God. O oh God, knowing that we have the victory, Lord God, regardless of what the fight, the battle might be, Lord Jesus, help us to say yes, Lord God. Help us, O oh God, to say I will go through this battle, Lord God, that I will endure, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us in the mighty way, Lord God. Help us, O oh God, to hold on to you, Lord God. To look unto you, O God, the author and the finish of our faith, O God. Lord, that you might finish that work that you be, that have begun in us, Lord God. Lord, that we will go through, Lord Jesus. And, O God, that we will come out as pure gold. 
in the precious name of Jesus, that we give you in the glory, the honor, Lord, for all that you are in our life, Lord God. Bless us now, Lord, and keep us, O oh God, that we be faithful unto you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let every heart say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone suffering today and need prayer for whatever it is that they are suffering? See, a lot of times we need prayer, but we are set and relaxed. But God is not going to do nothing for you unless you give yourself to him. God wants us to give ourselves to him. A lot of things that we are going through is hard. But if we just surrender our life to God, and let him have his way. He'll deliver us even today. If there anyone need prayer today, come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day. Thank you, God, for your word, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for the people of God. Lord, keep us, oh God, and bless us, oh God, that we continue, Lord God to abide in your word and to trust you, Lord, and to yield ourselves unto you, Lord. Father God, in Jesus' name, may your love, your peace abide with us now, henceforth, and forevermore. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. Amen. We're getting ready to, to dismiss. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's thank God for that word. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let's thank God for the word, for the messenger today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise for each and every one of you. Amen. We thank God for his many blessings. Amen. Upon us at this day. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. How many is going to, to the second service? Amen. It's in Utahville, South Carolina. In Jesus' name. Amen. I do have an announcement real quick. And then